on a summer morning, my son and I were walking into the building. My son was coming to basketball camp and he was about eight or nine at the time. And as we were walking up, Kobe was walking out of the arc with his trainers. My son saw Kobe obviously and was just in awe already. And we were gonna walk in without bothering him, but I'm friends with Kobe's trainer and he called us over. So we met right at the steps leading into the arc and uh, Kobe's trainer introduced the two of us, my son and I. And Kobe was super gracious and nice. We shook his hand and my son started talking to him. Kobe started asking him about basketball and how much he loved the sport, what position he played for a couple seconds. And my son, of course, was just totally wide-eyed and just blown away that he was getting to talk to Kobe. What's up, Eater fans? This is Kobe Bryant from the Los Angeles Lakers. And I just want to introduce to you, live and direct right now, your men and women's basketball team who are going to make history this year by kicking some serious <laughs> ripple meters. There were a couple times where he would come to some of our open gym sessions that we held over the summer. And it was really cool to experience the way Kobe saw the game, the way that he worked just up close and personal alongside with him. I got a chance to be on his team for a couple games. You know, he had a brain for the game, obviously. Um, he was in constant communication. Um, and one of my favorite things about seeing him in a setting where there were no fans around, uh, no fans in the stands, no cameras on, was that no matter who you were, he was coming at you. I and mean, he was the ultimate competitor in that way. He integrated really well with the student athletes here. Um, they'd be in the gym right after he'd be done working out. He'd share the training room space with them. Um, and that was really cool for him to feel as comfortable as he did, but also for our student athletes to feel like he was one of them and respect him and respect his work. And I think that's you know, created a level of comfort that he had. And then he was here at a time where he was really at the peak of his career. And to be working at the level that he did really resonated with our athletes um, and gave a great message to how much more they could be doing.